everything's been great. I mean, they're 30 games above 500. They're running away with the division. But this week, their starting pitching has absolutely been exposed. What would you put the desperation level of finding a starting pitcher at right now? It's, it's pretty high, and it's, it's higher than it's been all season because of what happened this last week. And as we've talked about all season, Don, you can't look at what the Yankees do against bad teams. You, you, you don't want to determine your, your course of the, off, or the, the last part of the season and the trade deadline based on pitchers dominating the Royals or the Tigers or some of these bottom dwellers. They faced a Minnesota Twins team that can swing the bats, and they got hammered. They faced a Red Sox team last night that can swing the bats, and they got hammered. And I would be really worried if I'm a Yankee fan right now. What was it like, a game like this? Because for fans, you watch it like, uh, I'll tell you what, you have Judge, the base is loaded, it's early in that game, and it's 7-1, and I'm thinking... All right, if he jacks one here, like, we're back in this thing just like what happened in Minnesota. Obviously, he goes to the deepest part of that park, and, you know, the inning ends, and then really no other push at that point. But you have your starter, and he just doesn't have it. And from that point on, you're just getting it. The score is embarrassing. But as a player, as a fan, it's hard to watch, but I could always walk away and turn it off. As a player, is that one that's tough to endure because it's, like, look at the scoreboard. This is embarrassing. Or as a player, you're like, this is one of 162. This completely rolls off your back. It's not a big deal when you have a 10-game lead. You know, with, 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 when you are battling, if, if the Yankees were one game up on the Red Sox and that game was a game that tied up the division, then I'm in that locker room going, uh-oh, this, mm. this is not turning the right way. When you have a 10-game lead, you, you, know, you say, you know what, guys, we stunk tonight. Turn the page. Let's go get him tomorrow. But I, I personally would rather have a blowout loss in, you know, the end of July, then um, play a 16-inning game where I burn out a bunch of my pitchers. Now I have to make a whole whole bunch of moves and, and sending guys up and down to try to, to fill the roster space for the bullpen. Um, you know, a game like last night, they happen. I give Tanaka credit for going in there and, and pitching four innings and, and kind of, you know, just taking his lumps. But it just wasn't his night, obviously. Uh, for sale sign is up on the Mets, which makes sense because they're not going anywhere. But are you surprised that Diaz and Syndergaard are among the guys they're shopping? No, I think the Mets, as, as crazy as it sounds, if the Mets are going to sell anybody, they might as well sell everybody, right? I mean, p taking a few different guys here and there and, and you know maybe trying to decide who I want to keep, why not just tell every team, and maybe this is what Brody Van Wagenen is doing, is say, other than, you know, Jacob DeGrom, all of my pitchers are available, you know, other than, you know, a, a handful of, uh, of guys on the offense, um, you know, let's just try to get some prospects. Let's try, to, let's try to win something this year. Maybe we can win the trade deadline, and, and Brody has a, has a big opportunity here to see what he can do in the market. Can you see a scenario where the Mets and Yankees ever have, uh, ever engage together in a blockbuster-type trade? I can because it would just make sense that if I'm a GM, every team out there is on my speed dial. Every team is an opportunity to make my roster better, uh, to fill some holes in my minor leagues, whatever it might be, if it happens to be your crosstown rivals, I mean, listen, the Yankees are going to be in the hunt for a World Series with or without the Mets, right? So if I'm, if I'm the Mets fan base right now, and I'm saying, man, the best offer for Noah Syndergaard or whoever, Zach Wheeler, the best offer is from the Yankees, take that Yankees offer the Yankees are going to be probably deep in the playoffs anyway. So with or without the Mets trade, my crosstown rivals are going to be fine. I might as well take care of my own backyard and bring in some talent.